The smile on this man's face says it all. He is the last person rescued from a capsized ship off of Georgia's coast. The nearly 36 hour mission really captivated the country and, and me as well. 635 now. And it ended better than anybody could have imagined. All 24 crew members on board that ship right there, capsized, are alive. And now the focus is shifting to the environmental impact the accident could have on these coastal communities. Thank you, Thank you guys. Yeah. And with that, a grueling rescue mission came to an end. After spending nearly 36 hours trapped on a capsized ship, the 24th and final crew member was saved. It's a lot hotter in that ship than it was for us on the outside, and I'm sure on the outside it was probably pushing 120 or more. Rescuers located the final four trapped crew members on Monday after hearing them tap on the walls. When I heard the news this morning that we had tap backs uh, throughout the night, uh, I think that really motivated the team here. The first emergency call came at 2 Sunday morning. The cargo ship just flipped over in the channel. We need to call Coast Guard. Shortly after leaving port, the massive ship carrying more than 4,000 cars flipped while making a turn. This morning, the ship is still capsized, shutting down a busy waterway. Experts say it could take weeks or even months to turn it over and remove it. But for now, the Coast Guard is breathing a deep sigh of relief. That is amazing. The best day of my career because you guys did that. Outstanding. Yeah, yeah. The best day of wow. my career because you guys did that outstanding. Yeah, yes. they rappelled down the <laughs> side, and the last guy rescued had no fresh food, no fresh water. Amazing. The longer the ship stays in the water, the greater the environmental concern. Pools of oil spilled from the ship, and until experts know how much, they're warning people to stay out of the water at Jekyll and St. Simons Island.